what we're doing here is we're looking at how we could take... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Um, is we're looking at how we could take a written explanation, turn it into an equation, and then solve it. Now, that's really important. That's a really important skill part. So this is here. Think of a number, halve it, subtract 4, and the result is 10. So think of a number. We don't know what that number is, so what we're going to do, what letter of the alphabet can we use? Hmm, let's use X. So X... Now, what are we doing? We're halving it. So we're going to say x times 1 over 2, and then we are going to subtract 4, minus 4. Each result is equal to 10. So x times a half minus 4 equals 10. Now, what we can do, we can clean that up a little bit, make it look a little bit more familiar to what we used to. So x over 2, because that's what we've got, um, minus 4 equals 10. All right, let's solve this. So we've got this minus 4. How do we get rid of minus 4? We add 4. So x minus 4 plus 4 equals 10. What we do to one side, we've got to do the other side. So we're going to put a plus 4 over there as well. Uh, so minus 4 plus 4 gives us 0. So here we just look at x over 2. And that equals 10 plus 4, which is 14. Now, like we did before, some number times 2 gives us 14. Might be a little bit hard to work out. So what we do... We know we are dividing by 2 or we are halving. How do we do the opposite? We multiply by 2. So then what we're going to do over here, we're going to say we've got x over 2. We're going to multiply that by 2. That equals 14. We've also got to multiply that by 2. So 2 times a half just gives us one whole x. That equals 14 times 2, which is 28. And that's what we end up with.